probably a Nashkel. I don't know about Camilla. With your hurried flight from Candlekeep barely behind you, the troubles facing the Sword Coast seem an unfamiliar blur to your fractured nerves. Gorion would not have you sit idle, however, and perhaps investigating local concerns will shed some light on your own predicament. How the iron shortage or the trouble in the Nashkill mines could possibly be linked to you, you have no idea. Hmm. So, actually, a Nashkill is the main quest. All right. Hamnion Saunders. It is in my hands. Wait, Hamnion Saunders. Nitro here. Stand the, away, citizen. This patron or what? Identify yourselves. Um. I am Mavara, and this is my band of fellow adventurers. I hear that this is a troubled region of late. Allow me to put ourselves at your disposal during our stay here. If you're seeking to resolve troubles, welcome. If you're seeking to cause them, can they take it elsewhere? Things are not good here, Avira. Hmm. Oh, what things aren't good? All we have here are rumors and vague suspicious. Ah, yeah. What is good around here anymore? Our iron is rotten and there is a talk of demons in the mines. The lower levels have been all but abandoned until this crisis passes. And then there is the question of Commander Brake. Like, uh, they have stripped him of the of that little of the title. But I use it yet. He killed his wife and children in a rage one night, and all who saw him. Then he tore himself away and headed for the hills. Fear is out there still, and still we mourn as much for him as for those he is taken. Fire on you now. You have brought tears into the eyes of a soldier. Okay. He's speaking so weird. The word's so chance. uncommon. Okay, I will also see some. I will show you justice. I will show you justice. From the idiot. See? Such feats are easy when you learn to focus their energies through the light of Selune. Um, such feats? Which feats? What exactly are you doing here? Thank you for asking. My name is Rasad. I am merely demonstrating some of the ways in which we Sun Soul monks reflect our spiritual light through physical activity. May I tell you more about the Order of the Sun Soul? Mm. <laughs> okay, second fun, but not really polite. Okay, please do. The Order of the Sun Soul was founded during the time of. Hey, what are you supposed to be then? Some sort of kick puncher? Come on, take a poke at me. I dare you. I have come not to fight, but to demonstrate a few. Oh, so that's how it is, eh? <laughs> you prance about pretending to be some sort of hard man, but you're just a coward, right? I am not afraid to defend myself, but I do not seek out conflict without purpose. Instead, I wish to share the light of the Moon Maiden. Oh, I get it. You're some kind of simpering priest, just pretending you knows how to fight, but really just begging for coins, yeah? A Sun Soul monk uses mind, body, and spirit in equal portions, but not to prove his martial superiority. Rather, he seeks to better the lives of those around him. Yeah, yeah, save it for temple school, boy. <laughs> if you're not gonna fight nobody, I won't waste any more time on you. Hmm. Oh, good for you, Rasad. I admire men who stands up for his principles, even in the face of ignorance. I thank you. 
It is not always easy. In truth, I enjoy a good fight if it is to improve my skills or to defend a just cause. Fighting that man would have enlightened no one. You seem like someone who would appreciate the tenets of my order. May I tell you more about Salune and the Sansor monks? Mm. Okay, I don't remember what Salune and so yeah. Tell me why you worship Salune. Of the inheritors of Amonito's power, Salune is the most ardent foe of spiritual darkness. After all, she is the bright opposite of Shah, the mistress of the night. Mm -hmm. The Moon Maiden's reflected radiance inspires us to shine our inner light upon those in need. In the face of lies, we offer truth. In the face of hatred, we offer compassion. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a good philosophy. What more would you like to know? Mm. Tell me more about the Order of the Sun Soul. The Order of the Sun Soul was founded in the days of ancient Netherim. Then it was called the Brotherhood of the Sun, and its members dedicated themselves to the Sun God, Amonitor. Very ancient stuff. With the fall of Netherim, Amonitor vanished. Some believe his power now resides in other gods. Different factions of my order turned to them. Most to Lathander, some to Selune, and a very few to Sunu. My sect of the order reveres Sulune, the Moon Maiden. What more would you like to know? Hmm. Actually, I want to ask you to join me. I have had trouble making ends meet since coming to Nashkel. If doing so gives me the chance to help others find their inner light, I will be glad to join you. Okay, remove party members. <laughs> mm, who can I remove? I definitely don't like the necromancer, but probably if I will remove him, the second would leave, but it's okay. I don't need madman in my group. I sure want to remove this character from a party. Probably he carries anything. Can I manage in a tree before yeah it is short mm -hmm. yes okay remove yes remove Something troubling you? You, you're letting me go? But we have shared so much, so many good times. He's definitely the madman. <laughs> this is truly a sad day indeed. Goodbye, so sad, blah blah blah, and all that rot. Come alone, Montron. You are my counterpart, and we shall not be separated. Uh huh. Yeah, they go in bots. And what do I have now? The only um, two corpses and two alive dudes. Nice. It may be a touch unladylike, Keep but up. I'm gonna slit your throat. I am. What's wrong with you? Just fancy my luck seeing you thrown here. Bold as day. I expected a hand and a chase from the description. But who am I to argue the coins and the purse? May the lords of shadow guide you swiftly to your death. Seriously, can I just sleep a bit? Stop trying to kill me. <sighs> Not sure about money. Uh, I'm... Is there no compassion in your heart? Will you not reconsider? To put it as second as possible. No. Okay. Um, we have some problems. What you want? 
Hey man, I hear you can fight with dagger. Can you? I have no dagger, yeah? And no short sword. Nothing. Nice. Alright, yep. man. You should this go way. back. Hmm? I am without a buff. I can die easily. Yeah? That's a bad yes. stuff. Your wish? Rosalind, it's time to show you... I mean, me, how you can do anything good. Okay. Alright. Just attack. You look troubled. No, 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 no. Okay. Oh, keep paralyzed. Stop killing Monk. He's my new companion. Hit her somehow. my companions tell me <laughs> what's wrong with you guys i can carry no more i've started dropping things okay my sword is breaking against them again damn you can buy all the stuff again Iman, uh, can you get it some stuff for me, please? Why are they always trying to kill me? Bound to notice. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, it's different. Be it known to all those of evil intent that the bounty has been placed upon the head of Avira. The foster child of Gorion. Last seen in the region of Beragus, this person is to be killed in quick order. The subject is to be considered a formidable foe and is likely to have well equipped traveling companions. This offer has been extended to all appropriate guilds. Those returning with proof of the, de of the deed shall receive no less than 680 coins of gold. Mm. As always, any that reveals that plans to the forces of law shall join the target in their fate. Nice. I listen, worry not. Mm. Never had rats. No sorry. Um uh, gonna give me today. Nothing, okay. I need to rest. And the monk is dead. I was dead. I'm alone. Is there danger? I shall. You've been stuck. To <laughs> You're a queer fellow. Are you yes, fucking serious? Yes. Worry not. What you want? Ah, encumbrance. Okay. I can carry no more. I've started dropping things. What is needed? At once. Okay. And the two of us left. Yeah. Must be the priest somewhere. I really need the help of a priest. Oh, graveyard, the um, priest must be nearby. What's going on? Stop it. They're on Gaskell. Hmm, Gaskell. Gaskell probably is the... Uh, the head of this city. You there. You have the look of hearty adventure in stock. I am Baron Gaskell, mayor of Nashkel. Might I offer you a proposition? 
I was expecting some people to help with our troubles, but they seem to have forgotten us. If you are up to it, I would ask that you take a look at the mines southeast of town. The miners claim there are demons of some such roaming about, but they are superstitious and prone to exaggeration. I am more concerned with the state of our ore. Oh, iron removed from the mines is tainted somehow, and uses for smithing. I will have you find out how it happens and who is behind it. You will be rewarded handsomely for your efforts. Okay, can I see you? the priest? Temple of Helm, finally. Some distant temple. Hello ah. there. Intrepid adventurers at our door. Oh, helm guards over all the realms, and the, his servants are at your disposal. The vigilant one stands ready to mend the thigh ailments and so diverts the unyielding gaze of the great guide. For a suitable donation, of course, just to demonstrate our mutual goodwill and your understand. Okay. Mm. Have watch over you and our poor lost brother break. A finer captain of the guard could never be found this side of him. Such a strange change for one so devout as he. One does not usually change so drastically without nefarious help. If there be an evil influence on him, perhaps the harsh justice of the military should be stayed. He will find no quarter at the garrison, but if he came to the temple, well, his restitution need to not be his life. Is there anything I can help you with? Mm -hmm. So if I found him and bring it to this temple, probably I can know the truth. All right, what kind of service do you provide? Um, yeah, this one should resurrect. Right there. Oh, just 100. So cheap, but probably, uh, probably according to the level. Yeah. They have a second level, so 200. All right, we are alive, yay! <laughs> Welcome, Crania. So, um, I resurrect everyone, and I have money for identifier. Ring of the Princess, plus one. This ring and several of its type were originally crafted to protect the sons of King Castler. Custom device, though who uttered the enchantment is unknown. History records that the rings remained within that family for at least thirteen generations, though they were all apparently lost within the space of one. Enmity between the king and the family of the creator may be the, to blame. Harm cost plus one, seven rules plus one. Nice, very nice. Mm, lot of antipod. Can target it or what? Yeah, for some reason. Okay. Oh, Gandalf. Mm. I haven't pro. Oh, yeah. Was it clicks from there? Okay. Let's identify Gerdon. Oh, okay, now I get it. Mm. I don't fully understand how it works. Gerdon of person. Okay. What is about of. Antipod. 
this logically his uh, stance stands but I can't see uh, the start of this okay no my dream it in the fur of polar bears this tiny bound is turned to his images of blue moons and white ice flowers the wearer is immune to all code based effects but suffers double any fire damage interesting can be useful probably in some situations maybe even at the end of the game and get off person mm -hmm. he was being an infamous highwayman in his day father of scardale made quite a name for himself waxing the elves of hermander forest to the annoyance he continually used the wood to escape the law and with the aid of this girdle the elves arose as well Unfortunately, for Pandora, pit traps and starvation proved of slower, but effective substitution. From cost plus 3 versus miss on person attacks. Okay. How about. Mm. The cursed guild of femininity and masculinity, a rare yet often discussed magical item. He is a rod with the most powerful magic. Anyone unfortunate enough to secure it around their waist instantly finds their gender to be transformed. It is said that not 50 years past, a nameless court jester was beheaded for presenting the girdle as a gift to Duke Lerberdan Dower. <laughs> nice. Hmm. Alright. How much? Helm of Infravision, the eyes of truth. Being a scavenger of a sort, Babette Maelstrom had this helm created to aid her in her dungeon excursions. She would later attribute her gathering wealth solely to its power, though likely it was as much her keen eyes as anything. Mm -hmm. Can it be used for someone? The simplest and humblest of staff weapons. The quarter staff is a length of wood ranging six of nine feet in length. High quantity corn staves are made of stout. Okay, it's just basic stuff. It's just plus one. Okay. Uh, Jolon's boots. Mm -hmm. Boots of stars. One whispers in each past, a king named Ringard was renowned for the spies he kept. So skillful were they that no nook of cranny escaped their eyes, and mobs were held for entire castles and towns. Eventually betrayed from within, the tools of their trade were taken and dispersed, ensuring that none could amass such a band again. Mm -hmm. Some bonuses for thief. Okay. Nothing to identify, and I lose almost all gold for this stuff. Okay, Khalid, Khalid, you need some clothes. Mm. Night walkers, armor cost plus two. Nice. Mm, I can use that. Definitely for Iman, but she has no slots. Mm -hmm. Okay. Get off my screen, I should sell it if someone will buy it. <laughs> Armor cost by three. Smithers and personal attacks. Yeah, can be a useful. Be useful for okay, probably. Okay. 
Okay. And there's a truth. Only for coming. Can't use it. Who can use it? This Bob Byra said. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So he compensated his no armor with this. Oh, all right. I don't need both of the pot right now. Can be a summer. Maybe it would be useful later. Mm -hmm. usable by a monk seriously why maybe Jahira but actually it's better with knob was shown so mm -hmm. I should just Agreed. sell it can I trade by the way helm watch over thee upon thy quest now I can sell next I can buy portions of him it's so expensive, damn. Vita, mortis, yes, O oh, omnipresent authority figure. Vita, mortis, Vita, mortis. You look troubled. Okay. Tis done. I should rest. I shall. After all the stuff. Rest and then I can trade normally. This tower knife and um, I have almost full party. It's not bad. Yes. Never had rats. No sorry. Okay, let's rest like nobles. You do not dream often, but tonight the visions are vivid indeed. Long have you walked, but now you find yourself back amidst the stones of Candlekeep. Your former home looms before you, but the gate is closed and barred. Over the walls there is a candle in your old room, but as the light goes out, the brick surrounding the window closes together. The very walls conspire to keep you at bay. A familiar voice startles you. Though it is calm and caring, you cannot go back this way, child. You must go on. Gorion forms before you. Though his image should be comforting, it seems but a shade of his living self. He is dead in your dreams, as in life. The phantom of your foster father gestures toward the blackness of the wood, as though it should be inviting. Perhaps it is, in a way, but the traveling will be hard. As you think this, a smooth and obvious path becomes clear out of the corner of your eye. It seems meant for you, pulls at your very being, and promises to quickly lead you away from the life you once led. Perhaps this would be for the best, but it is a bit too convenient for your liking. You do not wish to dwell upon the loss you have endured, but neither should it be forgotten. Gorion smiles and fades away. The pull becomes a push, but you turn away. Steadfast in your new direction, the way is not quite as clear, but it is sure to be interesting nonetheless. A whisper follows as you stride away. Something vestigial and sinister that you recognize, but yet have never heard. You will learn. You don't look back. Hmm. Interesting. I'll see how it ends. It was a weird sound.
You've attacked? Maybe I should rest again, I don't know. I listen. No, maybe not. Okay. Agreed. So, Never I can't so. No sorry. Mm hmm Alright. Agreed. Oh, there is. oh you haven't seen a man about him. This tall and oh, this wide, have you? That lout. Um I'm sorry I can't help you. Hey, get out of me where you crummy log head. Worry not. Welcome to my humble establishment. Interested in a little business on the side, friend? I have a man who swears by his grandmother he glimpsed a white wolf up in the cloud peak ice fields. It was but a short way south, and she be easy picking for a smart sword. I'd pay you good money for its belt, so it's a guaranteed sale if you go. Keep it in mind on your travels. Can I interested you with anything here in my humble shop? Yeah. Oh, I can sell the stuff. Alright. No, I shouldn't sell this one. It can be very useful. Probably. Logically, if I find some place uh, with many, uh, I don't know, cold mages, arctic golems, something like this, probably it would be very useful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just regular gear. I don't really need it. Nothing special. Probably I should buy yep. some sword for Iman. Mm -hmm. What she's proficient in. Short sword and short bow. One one. So I should uh, buy one sword. Now of course I still sling. Long sword axe long bow. Katana scimitar of concession in general. Okay, so he actually can use normal weapons, not just fighting with his fists. Uh huh. That's probably nice. Mm -hmm. Just one of the things. Katana. Let's see him. I'm gone. Is there tis yeah, done? Business has been poor. The customer is always right. What about Katana? Uh huh. He have no. Not every weapon. What about Ninja Jo? On the on the eighth session. Nice. Not that speed factor. Okay, I can buy it. Hmm. All right. Oh, and I should buy My some. Prices trump. are the best south of Waterdeep. Yeah. Oh, 
Probably should buy some more long swords. Maybe not. Maybe there will be no, no problems with them. Or maybe there will be. Oh, she can use also some armor. Damn, her armor costs so bad. Should give only one. Mm. Yeah, definitely needs to buy something. Yeah, business has been poor with the iron shortage and all. Nature Chicken servant awaits. Wear. Actually, I can see For it. The, group. the customer is always right. Mm, she can use any of this stuff. Because she is fighter droid. But she can cast if she use some too good armor. Mm. Yes, O oh omnipresent authority figure. How I hate her speech. The character can use the ability of a fighter and the druid. No weapons are restricted to only those allowed to the druid atas. This character may specialize in but not master. Any weapon they can use. So actually she can use heavy armor. Interesting. She has um, not high dexterity, so it would be better the best south of Waterdeep. to buy something decent. Mm, four, three hours present, missile, two hours is crushing. Not this will buy a droid, but okay. Mm -hmm. Spent my own definitely better. You've a task? Oh, yeah. That's a nice. Oh, so I need some helmet. They have no one. Can I buy yes. some? Agreed. The business has been poor. I don't need some crates that we we'll want shot here. Mm -hmm. No helmets. Damn. What is needed? Okay, that's it. Hmm? At once. Agreed. I am prepared. I said, what was his? Uh -huh. But he can use his armor. Sun Tzu Monk. Sun Tzu Monk were once worshipper of Amanatar in the time of the Nethrio. But today their worship is divided between the Thunder, Sun and Sun. Uh, Sun Tzu Monks adhere strictly to the law, using their mortal arts and magical abilities to drive out dragons and corruption where they find it. Mm. No information about armor and some abilities how they improve their armor. Dexterity mm. minus two, Night Walker minus two. No specials from the monk. From the monk from the second reduction and different. You look trouble. Agreed. Maybe they need armor. Tis done. I don't know. Yeah, business has been poor with the iron shortage and all. No, he can't use an armor. Maybe he'll get I some listen. bonuses later. Yes. No, he is not good. It is in my hands. 